everyone it's raven welcome back to the nest what are we doing for you all today is wrapping up the second is it second yeah second paycheck budget of january 2022 as well as unstuffing and restuffing my cash envelopes so if you're interested in that stay tuned So as far as my to-dos and my weekly goal, I did not fare well. Um, as far as my priority, I think I did pretty good, which we'll get to that in just a second. But for my to-do list, I only completed <laughs> really, well, I won't say I didn't do, I, I did pretty okay. I had three to-dos for last week. So I took Kanan to his vet appointment. I did double check all business expenses just to make sure everything was coming out from my business credit card, like all of my subscriptions and stuff. I did take care of that. I did not call T-Mobile, however, <laughs> and that was kind of one of the bigger to-dos um, after taking Kane into his bed appointment. So I'm pretty kind of disappointed with myself that I did not do that, but I plan to do it this week. So um, my weekly goal, which was to activate the Mint Mobile plans and terminate T-Mobile, that did not happen last week either but I plan to definitely do that this week. So moving now to expenses, these are the three expenses that did come out. However, they did not equal up to what I expected. Um, for Kanan's vet appointment, I budgeted around $200 because the last time I took him, it was right under um, $200, but this appointment was actually his annual visit. He goes to the vet twice a year, for his um, six month heartworm shot. And then they do like a heartworm like test or whatever. Um, and like I said, that's every six months. However, <laughs> this appointment was actually, like I said, his annual. So there was a lot more things that had to occur for that visit, such as his annual blood work, his comprehensive assessment, all of that stuff. So his um, vet bill for that appointment actually came out to a whopping a little over $400. <laughs> so that was definitely unexpected, but I will say, the fact that I have budgeted, and I think I've budgeted well, I was able to cover that expense and not really feel like too much of a hit, um, but it just was very unexpected. But when he goes back in July for his um, next six-month heartworm shot, it will be a little under $200 because, like I said, that's what I paid when he went in July of 2021. So... And I'm definitely planning for that. And then I'm going to make sure that we are planned and ready for January of 2023 when he goes back for his next comprehensive assessment. So there's that. Um, Allstate Auto did come out as planned at $129.24 and then T-Mobile was paid $117.55. So here are my upcoming expenses that we're going to be talking about um, when we get ready to set up next week's, well, this coming week's budget. So flipping to my spending tracker. I didn't do much spending. Um, I think once I paid that 407.08 at Kanan's vet appointment, that just kind of like had me shook for the rest of the week. I was like, you know what? I'm not spending nothing else. <laughs> like I said, even though my um, my budget was able to sustain it and not be really, you know, trembled by it, it still was a pretty big chunk of change to come out of, you know, just kind of right off the cuff. And I was like, er? which is why I'm, which is another reason why I started. Um, the sinking fund for him because essentially expenditures like this will come out of his sinking fund so um other expenditures i did of course i purchased some gas i only ate out one time this past week which was really really good it was a bigger purchase as far as eating out um, i actually got some wing stop and i spent over 20 dollars, which was pretty much all of my budget for eating out that week but it's okay because it was a good meal and i enjoyed it um, I went to Kroger, spent uh, about $43, and then I did CVS, which that was for personal spending because I uh, replenished a lot of my hair. Well, I don't say a lot of my hair products, but uh, I replenished um, some of my hair products. And they had a nice sale going on, and I had some coupons. So my total was actually like, I want to say like 30 something dollars, but with my $10 care pass plus some other coupons I had plus the um, the sale price of the products that I purchased, I only spent around $14. So there is that. So let's go ahead and calculate up all of my spending for the week. So $407.08 for Canon's vet appointment, $45 for gas, $22.16. That was at Wingstop, plus $43.57 at Kroger, 
and then $14.23 at CVS. So I spent a total of $532.04 last week. And that's outside of these other two. Um, I'm not including Allstate or T-Mobile because those are, were sort of like planned expenses. Those aren't really considered spending, but I am including Kanan's vet appointment in spending because technically I didn't plan for that and it was actually much more than I originally budgeted. So let's move on to my cash envelopes and what I actually spent. So I budgeted 45 for gas. I did spend 45. Eating out, I budgeted 30 and I actually spent 22.16. Groceries, I budgeted 60 and I actually spent 43.57. I'm actually just getting these totals from over here. Personal, I budgeted 15 and I spent 14.23. I did not do any household expenditures and shockingly, I did not tap into my allowance. So zero for that. And that's pretty much wraps up for you know, <laughs> this past week, I think we did really good. Um, the only hiccup, like I said, was the fact that I did not call T-Mobile and activate those Mint plans. Uh, well, no, call T-Mobile to terminate them and then activate the Mint mobile plans. And then, like I said, Kanan's vet appointment was 200 plus dollars more than I actually budgeted. So there was some hiccups this week, but um, I think we weathered them quite well. All right, so moving on to this coming week. So what I have for priorities for this week is tax season. I think I should be getting all of my tax documents this week. If not this week, it will be next week. What I mean by my tax documents, my W-2 for my full-time job. I should get a 1099 for my part-time job. And I think I'm waiting for something else, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe it's my tax document from school. Yes, because I finished my master's degree last year in may so technically what was paid for tuition for last month that's going to be included when i do my taxes um sometime maybe the end of this month or in february because all that is considered um you know stuff from 20 from uh, 2021 so i think that's all i'm waiting for w2 from full-time job 1099 for part-time job and then i can't remember the name of that form but it's basically the form you get if you're a college student that shows like what was spent in tuition it's a T something. I can't remember what it was, but I'm waiting on that form as well. So um, to-do list is to prep for uh, February budget, which that's just kind of me getting, um, getting together like the list of everything that's gonna be coming out for February, getting my monthly overview set up, like all that kind of jazz. Um, make wedding accommodations, not my wedding. <laughs> Let me pause and preface that, not my wedding, but my brother's wedding. So I need to make reservations for accommodations because his wedding is out of town, so I will have to travel for it. So I need to go ahead and make accommodations for that so that I have somewhere to stay. Uh, weekly goal, this is a carryover from last week, which is gonna be activate Mint Mobile and um, terminate T-Mobile. So I plan to do that this week. Now let's get down to what expenses I have for this week. And I actually will need to flip to this monthly overview. So what we have, we have 117 and we have Peacock. And then I have my renter's insurance on the 20th. So we're gonna say all state renters. And then we also have MLG and W on the 21st. And then I have Paramount on the 22nd. Cause I did decide to go ahead and just keep uh, Paramount, even though, like I said, um, I think I said this previously, Star Trek Discovery, which is what I originally got Paramount for. I, um, it doesn't start back until February. It's on like a mid-season break or something like that. So it starts back in February, but I have been binge watching other Star Trek shows. So, and those for whatever reason are, well, I don't say whatever reason, I guess, you know, people are doing their own distribution deals and doing what's best for their companies. But um, from my understanding, um, these shows are now only available on Paramount. Correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong, if they may be available somewhere else. I know they came off of Netflix and then they came off of Hulu, which are really the 
two main streaming platforms that I have in addition to Peacock and Paramount. So yeah, so I've been binge watching those. So that's why I just sort of kept it on there. All right, so now for the total amounts, let me go ahead and check this stuff off here. Side note, so gym membership that was paid and then something about the gym membership, this is probably gonna go away in February or be replaced by something else simply because the gym where I have my membership at is closing. So, and they're gonna, their last day open, I think is like January 31st or something like that. So that's probably gonna be a non-existent payment for February, unless I go ahead and replace it with another gym membership, which I don't know. So regional one was paid, True Panion was paid, Xfinity, my Allstate Auto, T-Mobile was paid, and then now we've done down to Peacock. So Peacock is going to be $10.94. Allstate Renters is $17.68. MLG and W, we are going to budget it to $50, although it may be less, we will see. Paramount is $10.94. So then we're going to do our total. So 1094 plus 1768 plus 250 plus 1094. That is going to be a grand total of 289.56. And then I also want to <coughs> note here that I have a payday coming up on one, I think it's 21. Yeah. 121 is payday for me for my full time job. So there's that. Coming up the following week, we have Amazon Music and AT&T. AT&T, Citibank, Hulu, and Netflix. Okay. Citibank, Hulu, and then Netflix coming up next week. Is that it? Yep. Okay. So, uh, I want to put in my notes here, I know I tracked this on another page, but I do want to put my full-time paycheck. It's going to be $2,109.53. I just kind of want to note that there. <clears throat> All right. So now we can go ahead and get into our cash envelopes for the week. We're going to unstuff for what we had left over for last week, and then we will restuff to prepare for this week. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and unstuff. Of course, I have nothing left in gas, eating out. I did have a bit left in here. So we have five, six, seven, that there. Let me go ahead and open these, okay groceries i spent a little bit but i do have some left so 10 11 12 13 14 15 16. nothing left in personal because i spent that housing should have its full 15 because i didn't know spending in housing then 11 12 13 14 15. And then shopping, aka allowance, should have everything in here, should have the whole 60 because I did no spending there. So 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So there's that. And then that's just my savings for the cash envelope leftover challenge there that I'm keeping in there. So I actually need my jar. For my one dollar bill savings challenge so let me go ahead and separate all this out so that i can count up and tell you what i had left um, the rest of these are ones i think yeah the rest of those are ones okay so now we're going to count up what we have left over 20 40 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. $98 left over. That is 
good. So we are going to go ahead and take all the ones out. Uh, yeah. And these are actually going to go in my $1 bill savings challenge jar. Again, we're not going to count these up. We will accumulate these and then count them up at the end of the year. So there's that. And then this, which are my non $1 bill left over, are going to go into this savings it's right here. And because I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet, I'm not going to count this up. I'm just going to keep accumulating it, maybe until I decide what I'm going to do with it, and then we'll probably start counting it, or we may just do the same thing that we're going to do with the $1 bill savings challenge. I'm just going to keep adding and adding and accumulating this until the end of the year, and then we count it up together. That actually may be more fun. So, we will stick that, well, let me go ahead and put the denominations in order. Y'all know, because that was just going to kill me just to stick it in there and not have it all organized and nice. <laughs> So, okay. All right, now it's good. That was just going to kill me. I was probably going to be thinking about that in my sleep tonight. All right, so there is that. All right, so let's go ahead and get our cash together to restuff all of our envelopes. All right, so this should be a total of $225. So let's go ahead and count it. 20, 40. and 25. So we have our 125 and I do need to make a note of something because the bank that I went to to pull my money out, they did not have enough tens to give me. So I had to get two more extra fives instead of a 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this, we're going to change it up for gas. So I got two more fives and one less 10. Okay, so I just need to do that, make that a three, and then make this three. Okay, because we got, yeah, two more fives makes three fives here, and then one less ten would make three tens here. So, and then I'll just have to fix it down here in a minute. <laughs> but. So I just had to make that quick correction. So let's go ahead and distribute out our cash. Let's go ahead and put our cash in. And I know these bills are probably turned all kind of weird ways. So here's my 20s. And the 10s. And then the 5s. And then let's get these ones straight. All right, I think we're good. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and start with our gas. Our gas, we're going to get three fives. One two, three, and then three tens. All right, so let's go ahead and count it. So we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So there's our 45 for gas. Stuff you right in there. All right, moving to eating out, we're gonna get two fives and then two tens for a total of 30. So that'll be 10, 20, 25, 30. All right, 
$30. Stuff that right in there. And then groceries, it's going to get 60. So we get 10 wands. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ten ones, one ten, and then two twenties. Okay, let's count that. Ten, no, twenty, forty, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. dollars there okay personal is gonna get 15 so it gets five ones one two three four five and then two fives all right so that's gonna be five ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen $15 going into personal. All right. And then housing is going to do the same combo. We get five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And then two fives here. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. That's $15 going to housing or household. All right, then last is going to be my allowance, which is going to go into the shopping folder. We are going to do the two 20s, 110, and then we should have 10 ones. So let's do 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. All right, so we put our 60 in there. And there we are. All right. We are stuffed and ready for the week. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my videos. Thanks, guys. Peace.